this is a new project. We'll be starting a research study on Meniere's disease. And Meniere's disease has been one of those areas of interest that, that the House Ear Institute has looked at for years. We've done a number of studies on Meniere's using antivirals, uh, immune-modifying drugs, allergy treatment, etc., to see if we could help the hearing loss and the vertigo. So this is a different study. And we're specifically looking at patients with Meniere's who also have allergy. And about 40% of patients with Meniere's disease also have allergy. Things you inhale, things that you eat. And one of the symptoms those allergies can produce is Meniere's disease, or is associated with it. Get vertigo with it, the hearing loss, etc. Now we can make animals allergic in the research lab. Uh, we can <clears throat> inject them with things that they can develop an allergic reaction just like people can. So we're actually following up a research study that was done on some guinea pigs um, elsewhere. So they took these allergic guinea pigs and half of them they treated with a medication that we normally use for allergy of the nose and for asthma. It's called monolucast. When they took the guinea pigs and pre-treated a group with them and then compared them to the group that they that had not been pre-treated and exposed them to allergens, they completely prevented the development of those Meniere's like processes in the inner ear on the treated group. All of the untreated guinea pigs developed that Meniere's like, uh, Meniere's like change. So what we're going to do is take a group of our allergically sensitized patients with Meniere's disease and we'll confirm they have allergies. We're going, we have a group that also has Meniere's disease. We're not going to be treating with the medication. We're, we're doing what's called a double-blind placebo-controlled trial. So we're taking these allergic Meniere's patients. Half of them are going to be getting the monolucast. Half of them are going to be getting a placebo. The patient won't know what they're getting, and I won't know what they're getting, nor my co-investigators are going to know. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll monitor them. We'll monitor the hearing, we'll monitor vertigo, we'll monitor other allergy symptoms. We don't know if it'll work, but in the animal model where it's really had an impact on Meniere's symptoms, we're hoping we might see some benefit for people with Meniere's disease who also have allergy. So if you have Meniere's, you have allergy, this is something you're interested in. We're going to be doing recruiting for it. Uh, if it's an area that you have interest in with Meniere's or maybe you don't have allergy, it's an area of research. If you'd like to you know, support that, our efforts at the House Ear Institute, anything there you can do, we'd really appreciate. Hello, my name is Dr. Kevin Peng, neurotologist here at the House Institute. Thank you for watching this video. The House Institute provides free educational videos for hearing health professionals worldwide. To help support videos like these and other educational efforts, please consider donating by clicking the link in the description box below. Your generous support allows us to keep videos like these at no cost for you and others. Thank you.